Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am the noob with a brush. And I know I promise on a Wednesday to do low videos. But there's going to be some, something slightly different. Because I'm finding it hard to contain my excitement about the upcoming Wrath and Rapture box set. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to share some more of my thoughts about the box set. Because I think it's a great starting point. I think it's going to be great no matter what system you're at. Whether it's 40k or AOS. But for the, ch for the channel, I'm going to talk about it from the AOS point of view. Because 40k gets enough love. So we're going to spread some Sigma love. So without further ado, let's get on with the show. Right then, guys, first things first. We know that Wrath and Rapture is going to be a box set set in 40k and AOS because they're going to have booklets for both. As well, it's another booklet for using it within the Realm of Chaos. It's going to be up for pre-order in December. They haven't confirmed the exact date, but they have told us it's in December. And it's pitting Corn against Slanish. Hence, Wrath and Rapture. We know there's going to be two heralds, fast attack unit each, infantry each. So it's going to be a nice little base vanguard army for each, uh, for each set. But if this was your drop-in point now, where do we go from here? Because... It's easy enough to say, just pop into your local GW or hobby shop and just pick up a unit. But to save a little bit of money, I think the best way to go forward is to start collecting boxes for either army. Whether you're picking up Slanesh or Corn, I think these are the next step down from, those, from our system. Because... As you can see on the screen in front of you, we've got the Slanesh box set. And in the Slanesh box set, there's 10 Demonettes, a unit of 5 Hell Striders, if I remember rightly. And you get the Chariot. Chariot can, can be done in one of three ways. But you also get a Herald with that as well. You're not duplicating your HQ. You've got something different. So you've get, you've covered an extra unit of of foot soldiers. We've got an extra unit that's coming in quickly from the flank. We've also got a nice big heavy hitting unit in in the chariot. You haven't duplicated anything, like I said before. Which means you just expand in the army. And there's nothing that's going to go to waste within this box set. So you could go out and probably buy each of these units separately. But you're doing it at over the start collecting box price. So to save money, if you were split in your Wrath and Rapture box with a friend... The next step in saving money is this set. So let's have a quick look. We're going to have a look at the uh, corn stuff now. So here's corn in all its start collecting glory. We've got three juggers. We've got blood letters. We've also got the herald, herald on the blood throne. I'm a bit tongue-tied. You can call him herald if you want. It's up to you. But he's a herald. The blood throne can be done as a skull cannon. If in case you wanted a little bit more artillery. But, again, you're not wasting anything in this box. All those units are fantastic. You need your extra foot, feet on the ground. You need your extra guys running the sides. And your juggers are great as well. Because they four wounds. Might, might soak up some damage so your other guys can come in. And your heralds are just going to cause a bubble. But if you've got Karnak and he's running with your dogs, who's going to keep an eye on your troops? It's got to be this guy. And like I said, 
these are fantastic. This is your next step. Where do you go from here? Well, that's easy. Next step from here, you go big sexy. I'm talking greater demons. At the moment, Slanesh is a little bit behind on the scout because theirs is a little bit more dated. But being a corn fan myself, it's got to be big sexy red, the Bloodthirster. The epitome of everything corn. They look an absolute fantastic model to build, an absolute legend to paint. And that's going to be the centerpiece. So you've now gone. I've got my starter set. I've got expanded with a start collecting set. I've got my big sexy. You flesh it out then, don't you? You go more foot soldiers. Or you, you expand into your elites. That, from that point on, is up to you. However you want to field your army, that's you. I haven't mentioned yet about picking up battle tomes because that's up to you. If you want to pick them up right at the beginning... Or right at the end, so you can read the fluff, theme your army, all down to you. But I've been trying to give you ideas now about where do you go from just the box. I might be wrong. Let me know down below and we'll discuss it even further. Um, I'm only looking at this and trying to save you guys money. If you've got better ideas, again, down below. I think this is going to be the bargain of Christmas. And I'm so excited because we've got a new Herald, the grotesque harp. And we've got a new Karnak that looks like he's hunting you down and he he's not going to stop. The new flesh hounds have come out. It's going to be heavenly this Christmas, just on those models alone. And then you've got new fiends on top of that that look everything excessive but that's my opinion what's yours as i've said already today you put that down below and don't forget to comment like and subscribe for future future videos i'm in the middle of setting up a facebook page for the channel um we are looking at doing more as well because we're going down the blood bowl route as well so in January, there's possibly going to be more posts about Blood Bowl as well. Um, Sunday shows are going to remain the same as pre-orders and highlights of the news. So, yeah, the channel's growing, guys. And it's only going to do that with you. So, I'm really sorry, but I've got to do the following. Right, guys, that's the end of the show. Sorry it was a detour, but... I'm still excited about Wrath and Rapture, so I was trying to be helpful and giving ideas on where to go. Back to normal next week. In front of you now, we've got a PayPal and Patreon for the page. The links are going to be down below as well as email. Um, all I can say is, if you've got spare shekels in your pocket and you're looking to donate, we are thankful for you. Because without you... This program is going to be the same place. And I want to give you bigger and better content. So, in advance, thank you. Please like, comment and subscribe. Get us on the YouTube radar. If you've got friends that could be interested, let them know. Let's just get this growing. Because this is the community channel. Because I want to do this for you. Thank you. Good night. Good morning. Good afternoon, depending where you are. And see you soon.